Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. We're out here on Parque Fernando and today we're going to be hunting a level 5 collared peccary or javelina, whatever you want to call it. But I started this javelina grind because it's still one of the diamonds that I don't have here in the game, even though they have been around for quite some time. But the grind, it went pretty smoothly. The only issues I really had with it was the pumas. They were spooking off the javelinas left and right, it felt like. So it did take a little while to get this guy to spawn. But eventually, he did spawn. I think his bottom estimate is like 133. I can't remember his top estimate. But he's got a fair shot at being a diamond. So we are going to take him down today. We are going to start things off like we normally do with these videos by hunting four or five animals just to get started. And then we'll get over there and we will take him down. So let's not waste any more time and let's go ahead and jump right in. Starting us off, we have a level 3 axis tier, 105 to 146 for his estimate. So he is nervous as you can see, I'm guessing a puma spooked him at some point. But we're going to go ahead and take him down here. Um, the wind is actually perfect, so we can get really as close as we want to. Um, once this female kind of goes alert and stuff though, they will most likely kind of start realizing something's going on. But right now she is calm, so it is kind of interesting that he is nervous. That one's nervous, but then this one is calm. Um, so yeah, right now he's about 30 meters out, so let's go ahead and get the Zagan Varmint 22 to 50. Still need to buy ammo for this gun, I have yet to do that. She is still calm, which is actually kind of surprising at this point. So let's go ahead and we will take him. And you can see the Vital Blood right there, we actually have another one that was just right beside her. But here's the Vital Blood, I don't imagine he's going to get very far, it was probably double lung with us being that close to him. So we have the blood here, he's at 50 to 75, it's going to go right up there. And then he should just be right over the hill here, and there he is. So we'll go ahead and get him picked up. And I don't remember exactly what gold is for the Axis tier. I mean, he's a pretty decent looking level 3. I just don't think he's actually going to be a gold. We'll get him picked up here, and we will find out. He will be just a silver at 125.74. So gold is 155.38. Yeah, he was nowhere close to that. But we got him in the left lung. Thought it was going to be um, double lung potentially, but we actually kind of caught the front of that left lung at 21 meters. But I will take it. And right up ahead, we have another level 3 access tier, 139 to 180 for this guy's estimate. He is also nervous like the other one was, so I'm guessing a puma or something came through. But he's not half bad, he is gold potential, there's a level 2 as well, 65 to 106. So we are going to go ahead and take him down if he'll stop running right there. Um, so yeah, now we just got to wait for him to give us a shot, and there he goes right there, so we will take that. Might be just a touch low, but I do think we got it, and we did, 50 to 75. He is going to be dropping. And let's go ahead and see if this guy is going to be a gold, and he actually will be. Gold 165 is his trophy rating, and then we said earlier that gold is 155.38, so he made it by 10 points there. So yeah, he's definitely not a bad level 3 whatsoever. Got this guy in the right lung, it was a little bit low, also a little bit far back, but we got him at 101 meters, once again with the Zagan Varmitter 22-250. And coming right towards us here, we have a level 3 Muley, 125 to 186. So he's giving us a fantastic broadside shot right now. If he'll stop right there, we will go ahead and take him down. I'm actually going to stand up just so we can get the shot here. And I took our scope off. And yeah, we'll take that. And he is not getting very far whatsoever. And looks like we had some others right over there. He is down right here in front of us. And he will be just a silver at 183.30. Got him in the left lung and the right lung. So that is why he was dropping so fast. Got him at 27 meters. And the 7 millimeter almost got all the way through him right there, as you can see. I didn't even realize he was over there. But there's a level 7 Puma, 36 to 38. We're going to go ahead and get him real quick before he gets across this little creek bed. And yeah, we'll take that shot and should be good. And it's going to be perfect. 25, 50, 0. He is going to be going down very quickly. So I was looking at some axis deer that were going across. I wasn't going to shoot them just because we've already took down two axis deer. So there really wasn't a reason. They were, I think, a level 3 and a level 2, if I'm not mistaken. But then I saw that guy, and at that point he was already fleeing. So I just had to wait on him to decide what he was going to do. So we'll go over here and we'll get him. He's going to be just right down there. Get him picked up. And then I think we'll just go ahead and take down our level 5 collar Beckery. I won't keep you guys waiting. I'm also just very excited to take him down. So here is this guy getting him picked up. He's going to be a gold at 36.85. And got him in the right lung and the left lung. So that's why he was dropping so fast. And that was at a distance of 89 meters with the Malmer 7mm. So that's not wasting more time. Let's go get this level 5 collar Beckery. And there he is, guys. Level 5 Collared Peccary, 133 to 163 for his estimates. So Diamond is 144, if I'm not mistaken. So he's got a really good shot to make it. He's giving us a fantastic shot right now, so I think I'm just going to take it. I did get a um, Puma chasing call earlier, so I'm kind of concerned that's going to end up messing things up. So I'm going to use the Zaken Varmitter 22 to 50, just to kind of switch things up there. And that should be good, 50 to 75. 
he is going to be starting to drop 25 to 50, so that should have been a good long shot. And we did get vitals, which is always a good sign. And here's our level 5 collared peccary. He did not get very far whatsoever. So let's get him picked up and see if he's going to be a diamond. And he will be a diamond, 152.93. So he's about 8 points above there. Like we said, diamond is 144.25. And he made it by quite a bit. So I was pretty confident this guy was going to make it. I've never seen a level 5 personally, so I don't know if they troll that often or not. But he did in fact make it, which is all that matters. So got him in the right lung, thoracic vertebrae. And the left lung, really good shot with the Zeg Environmenter 22-250 at 135 meters. So yeah, there we go. A diamond off the list of diamonds that I need. I think I'm down to like 20-something at this point. I really don't remember exactly. I'll have to go through my list. But I want to say I have about 20 more that I still need to get. But yeah, we, we got him here getting some screenshots and everything. Let's go ahead and get him taxed. I forgot to do that. And let's head to the lodge and find a place to put him. And here we are in the trophy lodge, so let's go ahead and place this diamond collar peccary. I want to put him up here on one of these small plaques. So there he is, diamond 152.93. Let's go ahead and get him placed. And they're actually pretty small up here. I was actually testing out a few different areas, and I noticed that they were very small on the plaques. So that's just something we're going to have to kind of live with. Um, I think I'll just do something like that where he's kind of looking at the doorway, or maybe not. It really doesn't look like... There we go right there. That looks perfect. So we'll go ahead and put him right there, and yeah, that's pretty much going to do it here for this video. So I really do hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Do all that stuff, it really does help out the channel, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.